me feeling like I'm academics. We're not going to do a hard pivot to uh, the Diddy stuff, but shout out to my guy Dame Dash and his um, network. It's called America New. Now, he, he, like, you know, Dame Dash is somebody who, for whatever reason, I still look at him a little bit more than, you know, when he speaks about Jay or Diddy. Like, he was one of the executive slash moguls back then. Like, you got to remember there was a time that Jay and Dame. This was them. You know, on my birthday, I better get all this too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, Jay's my best friend. Oh. I'm not ashamed to say it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we all know this, we're close, and that's, that's one of the reasons why we're so tight as a family and why everyone in this room that's with us is always is going to get money and get rich because we believe in sharing. And I uh, also want to give a happy birthday to my son, Boogie. He's my best friend, too. Yeah. So, Boogie Bugs. So I say, first, let's make a toast to Jay-Z and Boogie and life and friendship. And go. then a toast to Rockefeller. Okay, so that was back then when they were all cool. Now it's not the same. Anyway, Dame Dash was speaking about Diddy and talking about, um, you know, he had an interesting point. He said, isn't it ironic that the guy that, so many people, even the bodyguards, like, for example, Gene Deal is like, oh, yo, he used to drug the liquor that he had the women drink. He was like, isn't it ironic that years later he starts a liquor brand? How do we know these liquor brands weren't supposed or weren't also drugged as well? Which that threw me for a loop. It, it, if he doesn't, it just, you know, R. Kelly and Puff and 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 the Weinstein and Epstein. I know that my personal experience with the Weinstein, that I walked away and, you know, I did pay the full with them. And because it, it ain't like I have to see somebody doing something so extreme and dark that, um, you know, that's what I wait. And mm -hmm. he was saying that he didn't want to be a part anymore. Hold on. But and and I, I don't know what the, what what I don't even know. He allegedly and be wrong. Hold on. And I'm going to be like, yo, this shit is going to blow my mind. And some people knew, but I guess the general public did not. So does that mean that everybody that went to his party and that celebrated him, if that's true, does that mean they were celebrating evil? Is, is that a form of like, you know, unconscious devil worship. And and what was really disturbing to me about that was that they said that right here, I think the pattern was they put stuff in people's drinks. Yeah. And then they would pass out and wake up sore. Yo, it, it, I don't know why it, it like. How, well, I, I don't know if he was ever friends with Diddy like that, but it's kind of odd when I, when I see, like, Dame or, like, Gene Deal. Like, they act like they shocked just like us. We never heard about these creepy-ass niggas. So we're hearing about it for the first time. But the niggas, like, for example, when Dame says, I hope Jay wasn't into some shit like that, I'm like, bro, I just played a video of, you saying Jay was your best friend. If I if I had a friend that was like a super creep, that was like a serial drugger of women, I feel like I would know, right? Like I would, would hear like maybe women say it over time. Like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I hung out with your, your friend and I got drugged. I'm like, what? Yo, I don't remember nothing. What? Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I listen to Dame, when I was in the Gene Deal, well, Gene, Gene Deal, it's interesting with Gene Deal because, like, it's almost like, I don't know. But with D Dame seems like he's surprised with us. Like, he's never heard no rumors. Like, he's like, what? Puff? I never heard her. Like, and I'm like, is it possible that you could really be around during that time and never heard nothing? I don't know. And number one, I'm like, wow. How many times have I been in an environment where someone tried to pass me a drink and I didn't take it? And now I'm like, who was trying to line me up? And I think 
pause that it's justified and warranted to reflect because I was around these people and I didn't know they played those games. And why is it why I said accuracy with a little boo? So, all right, again, and, and I don't want to, you know, slander him or, or, or just whatever, but, but the whole, the whole boom thing, um, I think it would be applicable for you to say Accu didn't see it with him if there were current or up to date things of him doing what was captured on video in that Walmart or whatever store it was. That stuff was like a few years old, and I don't know, maybe it was doing it a bunch, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd probably have to look look in the mirror to myself. I'm like, wait, was I hanging with this guy? Like, like for example, like I've been around him in in certain situations like or like i went to miami and he's staying in the hotel room right next to me with his girl and yeah if he was like yo act i'm going to the store i'm about to go pick up some boxers and he was just in a tilapia aisle just like touching kids and i never knew i'd be like damn how did i not know that like how the fuck you get what i'm saying so I, you know I'm, I'm not trying to say oh no i know for a fact it was some shit of the past but it none of that um was occurring I hope. I hope. I can't swear for nobody no more. None of that was hopefully occurring while I was around him because I would look at myself to be like, how did I not see the signs? Like, you get what I'm saying? I guess that's the point. I'm not blaming Dame at all. I guess I'm just saying like, bro, if you feel you know somebody or you've been around them, you start to see some signs of maybe some weird shit if they're doing it currently. It's another level of gangster. So again, I ain't got no problem with people being gay. But if you're pretending you're gay and you're a gangster, that's gay gangster. <laughs> and you could get robbed of your money, but you also could get robbed of your manhood. And that's a whole nother level of disrespect. And, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, so I'm, I'm remembering when I was on Drink Champs. And then again, I, I have to think this, so Nori, don't think I'm beefing with you, but I just have to reflect. And I was on Drink Champs, and Nori was so adamant about me drinking Ciroc. No, no, that, that, I can't do that no more. That was it's, yours, man. It's over, because... No, 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 no. No, not, not the interview. Come on, Dane. How about this? We'll fi finish it with a shot of some... Can you show Elliot Wilson for me? <laughs> well, let's we take done? a shot of vodka. If no. we done? Let's take a shot of vodka, Dane. This, are we done, though? But vodka for us. Well, I mean, I'm not done. I'll do another one. Another you one. gotta do a shot of vodka. Come on, At please. At the end, we're not done. I, I fucked with you the whole night. You the one. That. I said, when we finish, we're not done. Yo, yo, yo Tio, help me. Come on. He's clever, bro. Yo, chat, you know what I realized, bro? And this is why I believe that Diddy is going to have to die for the sins of hip hop. When I mean die, I don't mean literally die. But figuratively, go down, pause, no diddy, for the sins of hip hop. Because I do think when when a Me Too movement wave starts, some things that are seemingly innocuous and just seem to be natural, people start looking at weird. For example, now we hear about drugging people. There's a podcast called Drink Champs. Now, not, and by the way, I'm not in no way, shape, or form trying to even fix my mouth to make it seem like they're on some weird shit. But now people start looking at those clips a little bit different. Why'd you want this guy to drink that much? Why'd you want this girl to blah, 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 blah? And that's kind of what happens until that wave of, you know, people with pitchforks end. So do I personally think that? You know, anything ever was funny with drink champs? Fuck no. Hell nah. That's a great idea for a great show. But when you're in the witch hunt era and the witch hunt like situation, do people try to make some shit? Yes. So you see how people even get scared away from doing certain stuff. Right? I'm in with you. I'm in with you. Can you pour me a shot too, Dan? But why you gotta put the ice in the shot? Cause you gotta I mean, be sophisticated. 
Alright, you're gonna have ice cubes. I don't know how you're gonna have to do a shot with ice cubes. Yes, you got a little fucking shot with ice cubes. Big shout out to this Puff. Is good man. shit. Oh, no, no, that's good. That's good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, you gonna take a shot? You gonna yeah. take a shot, Sarah? Go ahead, pour it. Oh, oh, you want me to pour you? That's, he's a gangster. When a nigga tell you he want him to pour you a shot, that's some gangster. I just poured George, right? <laughs> All right, but we even. Look, 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 look. You gonna take my own? Put like this. This was just looked at, and I think I watched this episode. It was just looked at as like some fun shit. With Dame bringing it up in this context, you're like, hmm. Oh, look at that. I'm in. Let's do it. Eye to eye. I told you. What do you mean? Why do you think it's not? <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this show. It's, it's not proper. I don't know. This. I went to Runyon Canyon today, and I was like, "Why did I do this? Like, what? Why is he looking at the shot like that? What did I accomplish? Can I take the ice cubes out? I'm nah, not, that's I'm not, not gangster. I never took a shot with ice nah, cubes. Nah, but you're in my world now. That's, right, yeah, that's right. not gangster. You got to do the whole thing. Because what's crazy to me is if his hustle is putting stuff in people's drink, he made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world that everybody was partying. Yo, Chad, I'm, I, I keep telling y'all, whether we're talking about 120 people getting that um, uh, Diddy or these new civil suits or people saying there's a tape of him fucking some young male, you know, celebrity. Bro, here's the reality of, like, everything with that, man. Diddy has made it to a point where we can't defend him. So no matter what we hear, and that's what I've said, no matter what we hear, we got to be like, mm, you never know. And you can't even get people, someone to say, nah, I ain't believing that. Show me the proof. Like, like we're past that point with Diddy. We're, we're at the point of saying, uh, you never know. And this is why, like, what Dame is saying now like, I think if we heard this in a vacuum, like, yo, bro, get the fuck. So you say they're putting GHB. Apparently, that's the date, R word drug. They're putting GHB in a nationally distributed liquor. What? But then once they bring Diddy's name in, you're like, I don't know about this shit. He made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world that everybody was partying and you don't know what was in that drink. And if he was, pause, <laughs> undercover gay, because I didn't know it. <laughs> Wait, how do you not know that? But you heard the rumors, right? And obviously if he was knocking men out and they were waking up, violated he's making somebody gay that doesn't want to be gay uh. so i'm like what was in them drinks and then i'm starting to think like damn when did hip-hop start to lose its masculinity when did dudes and again no disrespect to nobody but like tough niggas started wearing dresses and pocketbooks like like pause Maybe that could be the reason, and I'm, you know, I'm just thinking it through. Like maybe that could be the reason why hip hop took a turn for the feminine, because that shit. If homie is, was really putting shit in people's drinks and he's making the liquor, <laughs> you know, they, you know, and again, I don't know, and I'm not even saying it to be funny, but they saying, you know, homie was putting shit in, in motherfuckers' <laughs> baby oil. So <laughs> how could you trust that person to serve you drinks at such a, a, a big scale? So I'm remembering Nori so adamant about me get, taking a shot of Ciroc and I'm like, nah, and I brought my own. And, and now y'all can understand why I always want to make my own. So I brought my own liquor, <laughs> you know? See, that's also like, the like this. I don't know if it's Dirty Mac or again, Diddy has put us in a position, no Diddy, where we cannot ever say, man, Come on, that don't make no sense. Cause he's he's there's so much smoke we assume is fire. We've seen enough to know that he's a little bit scummy. 
And you can't rule nothing out to be like, bro, I'm not believing it. You got to be like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I was taking shots of well, my here's own. With, here's, that with, here's with that. I, th I think Dame, I can't tell if Dame is just like speaking because that's what he truly thinks or he, he, this is a way to promote his, his own shit too. Like we all know that Dame has, you know, Dame is an independent guy. He likes to promote his own stuff. This look like a way to promote, like, Dame could just kind of throw Ciroc under the bus, at least how Diddy was promoting their brand, which is Diageo's brand, and he could just kind of promote his own shit. I don't know. And then what happened, I made him take shots at uh, Ciroc, and then he ended up getting too drunk, talking about take your shirt off and all this type shit. It's on tape. So I, I, it ain't, like, you just, you just naturally start to think of things. And then I, I, I was thinking... There was this one time that when my daughter was 16, uh, Jay had a show and my daughter wanted to go. So I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna deprive my daughter. So I, you know, I hollered at Jay, sent a kite and told him I wanted to go to his show with my daughter. And they accommodated me, accommodated me to the fullest. People were really surprised to see me there, took pictures with everybody, but and again, Emery's my brother, so I would hate to think that he was fucking around like that. Pause. But he kept asking me somebody. That was the first time I had tasted that douce. And I got ridiculously drunk. To the <laughs> Yo, Dame doing the Ruby Rose right now. Uh, Oh, Travis, I might have been set. I mean, um, um, oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Yo, Dame like kind of lightweight saying. That nigga might have drugged me with a douce. Now that's going at Jay. Like that pause. But he kept asking me somebody. That was the first time I had tasted that douce. And I got ridiculously drunk to the extent, and my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, that I was like, yo, I don't get this drunk. Why am I so drunk? And I ended up, pause, wrestling with Kevin Hart. He pause nigga got me in a chicken wing. And I remember... Uh, Vaughn taping that shit. And I'm like, yo, why are you taping, Vaughn? So I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, because homie makes drinks too. And, and, and again, just if this is true, these are the things that I'm like just reflecting on. And if, like, if, if I wouldn't have played everything completely by the book, complete honor, then I could have been compromised. And what would have happened if I ever woke up feeling some kind of way? Compromised, what would I have done? And then I start thinking, I'm like, yo, homie's really a gangster because that whole time, like after the first um, Cassie case came out and he was just out smoking a joint, dancing, like literally to the day he went to jail, he was out in the park. Like you would have never thought a person had all those problems. Like I couldn't have handled that. So what it led me to believe is like, yo, things could be going a whole nother way over there. and You'd never know. Mm. All right. You guys could go watch that. Um, that's kind of interesting. Do I think that, Diddy was putting drugs in a Ciroc. Absolutely not. I think that sounds asinine. Okay, Ciroc was, um, you know, synthesized, distilled, and distributed through Diageo. They're not going to let Diddy come in with his little creep bag and or whatever. I don't know what the fuck. Just pour something in or come in with a little, I don't know, like vase of fucking... God knows what to pour in the supply of, 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 um, Ciroc. Like, no, like that sounds crazy or even a Deleon. So I don't believe that at all. But again, even though I feel that way, just on a logical perspective, Diddy has put us all in a position, no Diddy, where we cannot vouch for that nigga at all. So if they, like right now, if an alien came out of the sky and said that Diddy had them in a freak off, I'd be like, well, I can see it. I can see it.
Maybe you want to see how the, the alien tentacle di tentacle dick works. I don't know. Maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, right now, you can't give Diddy the, the benefit of the doubt. So, it is what it is. But I would think that a company... Um, and by the way, I wouldn't be shocked if, if um, Diageo doesn't send a cease and desist over this. Yo, we own Ciroc now, Playboy. Don't try to get the people to believe that um, this is the... This is the liquor that contains a element or a, you know, a hint or a mixture of the date R word drugs. So uh, we'll see. We will see, people. All right. Give me one second. All right. Here we go. I did want to... Um, did y'all see this, bro? Crazy shit. So, shout out to Young Miami. Um, I have no problems with...